This is a jailhouse phone call that was recorded between Alex Murdoch and his son Buster. They're talking about a lot of different things, but in particular, the subject of some financial things come up, as well as gambling. Not quite sure how that's going to play a role into this case, or if it even does, but let's listen. Tell her. Hey. Hey. What time do y'all get back? Um, back to where? Home. Uh, like 5 o'clock this morning. How'd y'all get back at 5 o'clock this morning if y'all left at 10.53 out there? With Time change. Yeah, I know, but it's 10.53 out there y'all left, right? No, we left at 9.30. Uh, 9.30 out there. So you left at 9.30. It's a, it's a, it's a four-hour flight, so you really land at, you know, around 1, and then you traveled through three time zones, which adds three hours, so we landed at about 4.30. Ten four. Dang, y'all have to be tired. Um, yeah, I am tired. I am, well, <clears throat> it was easier for me because they dropped me off in my car, which was in Columbia, and I just went to my apartment and slept for it's several hours. Columbia? Where did y'all fly into? Charlotte. Why'd y'all do that? Um, you know, it's just that that was where the, the cheapest flight was. What'd y'all fly on? Uh, Spirit Airlines. How was that? It was better than I expected it to be. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, I mean, I thought, <clears throat> I don't know, I just, you know, it was, it was better than, you know, I just thought it was a real cheap airline, but I mean, it was nicer than I thought it was going to be. Did y'all have room in your seat? You know, the seats are all right, they, but, you know, it was, you know, it's it's a totally, it's just a different, like, the seats don't recline because they can fit more if they don't recline, it's just, you know, it's just different. So you went four hours with no reclining? Yeah, but, you know, everything was still fun, and then going to Sedona was did a good get, time. Did you get the gamble any? Yeah, yeah, so I did go gambling, and then the next day there was a, article created about how I'm misusing funds. By gambling? Yeah, someone took a picture of me and John Marvin in the casino. You're kidding me. Uh-uh. What a fucking... You Are you kidding me? No. How'd they recognize no. you? Man, I guess... That, I mean, I'm a national figure, I think. I guess you're going to have to wear a hat and shit when you go places. Um, so. Well, I know you haven't seen Brooklyn. I just want to make sure you made it home. And you got that thing set up now? Yeah, so I set it up and I prepaid $50 onto it. So it should be good from here. I'm not going to. For $50. How much does each call cost? Uh, it's 60-some-odd 60 60 some cents a minute with um, $6 if your call um, goes over 15 minutes. All right. Well, I'm not going to keep you. You go be with Brooklyn, and um, where are you going to be tomorrow? Um, here. Be here. Hey, please stay on John Marvin's ass to see about that stuff from Mark Ball and any of those other funds to put on that thing. Being taken care of in the morning. So Mark's going to do it? Yep. They're writing the check in the morning. The check will be ready at 8.30. John sends someone to pick it up and then simultaneously running it over to Palmetto State to apply it. And I'm driving to Charleston in the morning to pick up the check for the bait. And going to apply that too? Correct. I mean, I don't see how they bust when everything's being applied to the bank. Sounds like this part of the conversation is about him trying to work around funds still to pay back what he stole. Yeah, I mean... 10-4. So all that'll be done. All that'll be done by lunch tomorrow. That makes me feel better. So it'll be 350. How much has been put on it so far? Um, 
Dad, I, I don't have an exact figure. Um, you know, a couple, couple tens of thousands maybe, you know, just selling pieces of equipment. All right. Well, I love you and um, – you, you what um are are you redoing your bond hearing tomorrow or does Jim just you know give them the psych evaluation? I don't know. It's not, they're not redoing the bond hearing. I, I don't know if he's going to have another bond hearing. He's just going to rule based off of this. So this isn't like a formal like you, you walk back in there and it's like a courtroom type thing. I don't know. I don't know if he'll. I don't know if he'll reconvene for that or not, or he'll just go off the paperwork. I don't know. Ten four. I'll try to talk to Jim sometime tomorrow and let you know. I would assume he would get the documentation. He would ask the state if they have anything, and he would ru and he would rule based on those things. Sure. So, all right. Give Brooklyn a big hug again and tell him congratulations, and you get some rest. I will. And I'll call you. Um, you're going to be working in, in um, Hilton Head? Yeah, yeah, I'll just be remote, you know, between here and OKT. Okay, so you'll be at Brooklyn's house or OKT, not at the store? Yeah, no, I won't, I won't be at a store. 10-4. All right. I'll call you sometime and um, just catch up. How bad did we get beat? 44-14. Mm, who the Cowboys play today? Uh, they were on bye week. Huh? They were bye week. Was it bye week? Yeah. <clears throat> and then Brady, when Brady played on Thursday night? Uh, no, Brady played t today. Played Who today at four. Uh, the Bears. Did they win? Yeah. They did. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and, and how's your Braves, um, are, Braves are going yeah. to the World Series. Yeah, so um, I saw where they were winning two to one, and then they, you know, I watched it till about the eighth inning, and, and I saw where it was like they were winning. I knew they were going up three one. So the Braves beat the Dodgers. What about the Red Sox and the Astros? The Astros won. You kidding? Hmm. Ten four. All right. Well, you gonna be with Brooklyn, and I love you, and I'll I'll give you a call. Okay. All right. Love you too. Bye. Gambling, sports, money. Were those all the start of Alex Murdoch's problems? Let me know what you think in the comments.